Is it running? I think it is. As it zooms out on my face. Come on. It's focused? I think it's focused. Hey guys, welcome Dapper here. Yeah, sorry about that. Trying to make sure... I've been tweaking with my camera a little bit, trying to make sure it's actually recording the way I want it to be recording. So, hopefully it looks okay. But, Happy New Year's, guys. Before I forget anything, before I get into anything else, Happy New Year's, guys. Um... I guess it's almost a happy new year. Close enough, anyways. By the time the stream is up, it'll be hitting midnight on the other side of the uh, U.S. So, I mean, eh, close enough, right? Hey, what's up in here? Uh, so, due to popular re request, uh, to be honest, I've actually been flooded with it. People are like, hey, you should play Doki Doki Literature Club. Hey, this would be right up your alley. And it's like, you know what? Five or six people are okay, but when it's like there's like 13 or 14 people who are like, hey, this game would be really cool. Hey, you should try this game. This game. Blah. So, finally, yeah, I'm going to play this. We'll see how it goes. Individuals suffering from anxiety or depression may not have a safe experience playing this game. By playing Doki Doki Literature Club, you agree that you are at least 13 years of age and you consent to your exposure of highly disturbing content. Oh, there's a sound, finally. I was in here waiting for music to start playing. So far, er like, everybody's told me not to look at it like it's a dating sim. Because that's literally what it looks like to me. Like, all it looks like to me is a dating sim. How am I feeling? Wait, I'm early. Does the, is the thing not scheduled for 6.45? Because I thought I would set it for 6.45. Um, if I'm early, it's because I didn't want to, it's because I didn't want to wait. Because right now I'm tired, and I'm planning on actually going to sleep before it even hits midnight here. Um, because I am still tired, I am still sick. I do apologize again for not streaming at all yesterday. Yesterday was a Saturday. I know, I'm, I'm normally awake all of Saturday, but I got home, I didn't get home until like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And I was dead tired. I thought I could be able to stay awake and like stream for a little bit and that wasn't gonna happen it did not even happen not even close i was just so exhausted i laid down to take a nap woke up at four o'clock in the morning today so yeah and then let's see i went i woke up four o'clock in the morning had breakfast and then fell back asleep woke up at noon and then i went to work yeah right working on a sunday but people called out Let's see, can I make this full screen? It doesn't seem like it's too loud. Maybe it is, I don't know. But I definitely don't need sound volume up super high. Um auto forward I can I can usually skip it by myself and it looks mostly okay I can't even it looks okay yeah I think that's as even as it's gonna get I don't think I can get even better than that Ooh. We'll see how it goes. Now let's just make a full screen. Oh, that messed up. That was not good. Can we have a sec? Why did it get fixed? It got fixed. Okay. Uh, oop, there we go. All right, that's acceptable. Okay. <laughs> Could have taken your afternoon nap earlier. <laughs> well, sorry to mess up your nap. Normally I sleep during the afternoon. I just got off work. And I worked, like, I normally get tired between, like, I, my nap time is normally between, like, 1 o'clock in the afternoon and, like, 5 o'clock in the evening, just before my class. Um, and so it's like, not having class these past couple of weeks has thrown me off a little bit. What's your name? Dapper, sir. Dapper is my name. Being Dapper is kind of my game. Kind of. Only kind of. Hey! 
I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally- <laughs> Waving her arms in the air like she just doesn't care. Like she's totally oblivious to any attention she, she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. Never had that happen. Never had that happen. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. Don't run away. Only jerks do that. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the sidewalk, a crosswalk, and let Sayori catch up to me. Well, sometimes it's not even, so sometimes it's not even doing nothing that's ty exhausting. It's like your body gets on a cycle. Like some people can sleep like a full eight hours, and I can do that. But for me, I get on weird cycles where it's like I sleep four hours at night between like one o'clock and five o'clock in the morning, between streams, and then I'll wake up, go to work, come home from work at 10 o'clock in the morning, and I'll either go and like uh, do some stuff, and then come home and take a nap around like noon and sleep until like three or four. Like double, double sleeping during the day. But that's just me. Sleep schedules are weird. Ha, <sighs> ha. I overslept again, but I caught you this time. Maybe. Oh, but wait. Uh, okay, it's me this time. I I wasn't reading that. Okay, let me. I just decided. Let's rename the stream. Let's rename it Happy New Year. I just realized it's like it's. Might as well do that. Boop. And boop. Back to this. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh. You say that like you're thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Dapper. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Oh. <laughs> you're so mean, Dapper. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Dapper, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh? That's not true! You told me you would join a club this year! Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did, in one of our many conversations, where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Dapper, you don't do that. You actively listen, not passively listen, and say, uh-huh, yeah, sure. Hold on, getting a drink. Sayori likes to worry a little too much a little too much about me. But I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Hey hey! hey. You and me both, Dapper. Wait. Huh? Hey, what's up, SP? Welcome to the stream. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to a person in town. Hello. A person in town. A specific person, SP. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? A new person in town. Okay, I get what you're saying, SP. Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. <laughs> oh, wow, what? <laughs> Wow, what? I'm confused. What are you saying well for, SP? I'll look at a few cup. Oh, I can't speak. No, wait, what well, was unexpected? I don't even know. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. That's the thing in this stream, SP. You should always expect the unexpected. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll probably... I, <laughs> I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get low? 
Why do I let myself get lectured by such, by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind a little. At least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside her, of her head. Hey, what's up Yorg the Orange Man? <laughs> Are you a furry? Yes, I am a furry. Good to meet you. <laughs> school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Siori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Of course. Best place to start. Hello? Sayori? Siori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. How long have I been? A, how long have I been spaced out? I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late for your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought you know, know what? Well. That you could come to my club, of course. There's always going to be something like that. Something to try and draw me in so I go out with this chick. It's a total dating sim. Sayori. Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. Oh me. <laughs> Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited, she inherited the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Oh, you don't even read any manga? Come on, you watch anime. Come on, dude. Do the program. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyways? Because she's totally into you, dude. Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. Oh, there's the Alteria motive. And Nasuki made cupcakes and everything. Now she's trying to guilt trip me into this. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. If she's guilt tripping me at this moment, she's probably trying to, uh, she probably planned this. I let out a long sigh. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes! Let's go! And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. <laughs> what are you in here for? They bought me with a cupcake. They own my soul now. I dejectedly follow Sigori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here! I told you. Oh, I told you. Don't call me a new member. Eh? I glance around the room. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says, says nice things about you. Oh crap, she talks about me excessively. That's good to know. Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, Dapper, what a nice surprise! You dislike this game. Yeah, so that's why I'm playing it, because I've had an excessive amount of people requesting me to play this game. And so... Finally, after much... Much coercion... People have convinced me to play the game. But I'm just gonna play, like, they told me to play it because it's spooky. Um, but I was looking for a little more action. I don't normally play games like this because I kind of find them cheesy. It's like playing a comic book in real life. No, wait. It's like playing a comic book instead of a game. So, I mean... You were just watching Markiplier play, play this. Yeah, I guess everybody else is playing this now, so everybody wants me to play it too. Um, I should have waited until it all died off again. Yeah, so, so far it just seems like a dating sim, but every swearing to me it's not a dating sim. 
and yeah, it's just a story. It's already like told out. I don't, like so far, I haven't run into any actual options. I didn't have an option to not go to the uh, literature club. It was all planned out. So I mean, eh, whatever. Welcome to the club. All words escape me in this situation, of course, because it's a uh, harem situation. There's all these girls around me, so of course. Genre, the genre is called visual novel. Okay, I didn't, I didn't know what it. I guess it makes sense because you just read it. <laughs> you can't wait to see my reaction. How long do I have to wait to have an actual reaction, or do I just have to keep reading? Ah, uh, this club. It's full of incredibly cute girls, of course. Oh. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. S sorry. Natsuki. <laughs> the girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Did I read the genre tag? No, I didn't read the genre tag. I just started playing it because everybody's requesting that I play it. Watch it for fun. And everybody says it's scary. Creepy pasta. Okay, how long do I have to wait before it gets creepy? Because I do enjoy the creepy moments where, it's, where it breaks character, breaks like fourth wall. She's like, um, what the one game I played, it was, uh, not knock knock, it was, um, I'm scared. I played I'm scared a while back, and that's when people started telling me to play this Doki Doki Literature Club. It'll be a couple hours before it gets going. Also, did I dye my hair? No, my hair's been the same color, it's just the lighting's weird. There's a tag there called Psychological Horror. Okay, well, I hope it does, I hope I don't have to wait too long. <laughs> that'd, that'd be terrible if I have to wait forever for it to get interesting. She is also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Or, uh, Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. Well, she seems very angry at me right now. I guess she was hoping for another girl. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Well, she's tall, so I mean... She's got to be the smartest one. Don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparable, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. It's the lighting. Yeah, it's lighting, and yes, my hair is a little bit lighter because I did spend, because I do use some stuff that lightens my hair naturally um, when I go out in the sun, and I have been outside a lot more <laughs> lately, trying to get some more vitamin. D? I think that's what comes with the sun. Ah, uh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. It sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's good to see you again, Dapper. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Oh, it was not talking. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. There I go, limiting myself. Uh, so having her smile at me so generally feels like feels a little you too Monica come sit down dapper we made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica I'll get the cupcakes hey I made them I'll get them okay <laughs> calm down Natsuki sorry I get a little too excited then how about I make us some tea as well the girls have a few desks arranged to form a table as Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. So a table of six, I think? Alright, see you later, SP. Thanks for joining. And I hope I will enjoy the game. I, I just, I haven't ever played a visual novel before, so just reading this is just kind of long. I'm waiting for like some moment where I get to like jump around and like action and stuff, but I just get to read. I mean, it's a good chance to exercise my voice and practice. You die later. <laughs> yeah. Well, guess what? I die in real life. Oh. What is this madness? Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna snag a drink real quick. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabbed, uh, grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. 
Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to, next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes, decorated, decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious! Sayori talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. Wow! How old is Sayori? She's a, is she a first year or second year? I don't know, but who eats like that? I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Atsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? Is it poisoned? Well, that's what I, so, an ear, that's actually why I like Pyre, because Pyre is like a visual novel, but it also has the gameplay, which also helps to keep me engaged and keep me involved in the story. If this had moments like that, I'd probably play more visual novels. Um, but just, it's like if I wanted to read, I'd read a book. I'd read a lot of books to you. I'd read like, uh, Fablehaven or, um, Harry Potter or something. But I mean, that's just me. I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... I haven't... I heard this somewhere before. Made them for you or anything. But she did. She made them for the special occasion that there's going to be a new member. She made them for me. Or whether it was somebody else. I don't know if she was thinking it was me or somebody else, but I'm pretty sure Sayori said it was me. Eh? I thought you technically did. Sayori said... Well, maybe. Ha! That's right. I knew it. <laughs> that's right. But not for, he, you know, you, dummy. All right. All right. I give up on, I give up on Natsuki's weird, weird logic and dismiss the conversation. It's because she wasn't expecting me to be the way I am. She probably had a different idea in her head of what I looked like. Or who I actually acted like. Salmonella poisoning. Salmonella is spelled with two L's. Just saying, alumni. And hello, Azerath. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I guess? <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. <laughs> That's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I mean that, you know, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. Yes, there's always got to be some dare. Um, and there's one thing I, I remember seeing forever ago. It was, um... Was it Yandere or Sundare? Maybe it was Sundare Simulator. That might have been it. Sundare Simulator. Where basically you play the Sundare chick, but like she like goes psycho. Sundare, sick goes, uh, Sundare chick goes psycho. Sociopath. Serial killer. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow and smiles at me. So, what made you con consider the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. And of course, because I don't really... Go in a club full of girls who all want me there? I would probably stay myself. Oh, well, thank you, alumni. That's, uh, that's... That's... That's kind of rude. Uh, I, I prefer if you were kind of nicer than that. Smoldering carcasses. That's, that's quite graphic, I would have to say. Won't become relevant until right later. A window with the game files open in another window? Okay. I'll definitely check that out. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president 
of the uh, as president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Ah, uh -huh. well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politic all all of the puddle 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 ticks. Politics around the major clubs. Open in another monitor? Okay, but later on I can do it. You're not nice or evil. Well, you keep going with that, alumni. If that works for you, go for that. But I can't really handle being evil because I kind of like, I like everybody. So it's, I can't really handle being evil. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for event events. You should see some files like yuri.chr, monica.chr. What open CHR files? I've never seen that before. Yandere, they're acts crazy and possessive. Sundare sort of two-faced but affectionate and jerk. Oh, okay, so not Sundare Simulator, it's Yandere Simulator. Okay, because I was just thinking, like, I thought it was alliteration. So that's why it was Sundare Simulator, but it's Yandere. Okay. I'd much rather take something I'd personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Actually, a literature club is not too bad. I was in a literature club when I was in junior high. And it was actually pretty fun, because I read a lot back then. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. And I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in 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 putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. Well, literature does. If it's a good book, it can. Or a good poem. There's some poems that draw a lot of emotion. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events, like the festival, that much more important. It's not real file format? Okay, so just so I know what to look for. Okay. I'm confident that we can re all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it! Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were also delighted by the new idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Dapper, what kind of things do you like to read? Uh, Manga? <laughs> well, uh, well, let's see. I play video games and I read. I watch anime. Not really much I do outside those two. Considering how little I've read these past few, ye few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? I'm gonna quietly to myself, half joking. Well, you already said before you don't read manga, so I mean, mm, Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well. That can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Hey, happy birthday, Grand High Blood. Well, almost. <laughs> Dang, I started reading that out loud before I realized that, yeah, the second one came up. Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship, craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. Yes! Thank you, Yuri! <laughs> thank you so much! Oh, I'm so glad she's a fantasy reader. That's like my biggest thing. I love reading fantasy. Fantasy is my... Fantasy is my bro. Fantasy is, o is amazing. Fiction's okay. Like, it's, fantasy can still be counted as fiction, but science fiction, more specifically. Space and stuff, that's cool, but I love fantasy more. That magic, the mystery, the things behind that. It's so much amazing. That's amazing. Okay. Nope. That's not gonna fly. Sorry, alumni. That does not fly here. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seemed so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. 
with stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Yes! Oh! Dang! I really agree with what she says! That's amazing! I love that! Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror book once. Probably crapped myself. <laughs> Probably psyched myself out for days. I don't normally read horror because the words come alive for me more so than watching it. Um, just because in order to, like when I read it, I, I visualize it in my head when I read things. And so when I read horror, it's like even worse for me. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. <laughs> Dapper. You dense, irritating beast of burden. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. If someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. Going for Yuri, huh, Dapper? You know, just a little bit. I'm gonna admit it, just a little bit. I... When I date somebody, it's for their mind. And so... <sighs> yeah, I... I do, I do personality profiling when I talk to people, and so it's like, I like her personality. Her also, her taste is also good too, just gonna be honest there. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Thank you. She, whatever she says, so far I'm agreeing with this. You guys listen, because this is the stuff I think about when I read books. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. That is also true. Hey, what's up? <laughs> you weird. Okay. Alright, not. Person alone dreams, people dreaming together becomes reality. You know, that's actually true. Because when you start talking about your dreams with another person, and that person has dreams that are almost the same, then it almost becomes true. It's pretty cool. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why's that? Well, I just... Natsuki, Natsuki, Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you should like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called Don't say it out loud! Give that back! Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you, everything you do is just as cute as you are. Hello, Stride Claw. Oh, no! Hi, Blood, don't ruin it for me! I didn't know her father beats her. Man, that makes me feel even more empathetic towards Natsuki. That's really harsh. Sayori so sidles up be behind Natsuki and puts her hand on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No! Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, uh, that's not a very confident not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself, which is true, because when I write stories, I don't write it to another person, I write it for myself. When I write poems, I almost don't, more than 100% of the time, I don't share my poems or my stories. Yeah. Not, that's not, not, not. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest riches, reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Aw, I want to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Awkward silence. 
with a couple of girls. One guy and like four girls. Just be awkward here. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um... Yeah, let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Dapper? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh? What's that? Now they're back on to the, the original topic of me joining the club. I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. Hey, what's up, Games Fever? Thanks for joining. I never said I would join this club. Oh, Siori may have convinced me to stop by, but I, never, but I never made any decision. Dapper, 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 no. You've got a room full of cute girls who aren't mean. I mean, Natsuki's just kind of indifferent, but like, these girls all want you there, Dapper. You don't understand yet. Come on, man. Hey, welcome, Jason. <laughs> wow, I just... <laughs> super hot, sexy anime girls. And, I'm, and I was like, hey, I'm staying. You know what? Thank you, Jason, for staying. <laughs> I mean, they're cute, but they're not like... I don't know. It's not like too etchy style at, at all. I still have any... I still have other clubs to look at. And, um... I lose my train of thought because it all looks so sad. You can't say no to a group of sad girls. Like, I am a sucker for sad women. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. Oh, man. I would feel so bad. But, I'm sorry. I thought, hmm, dapper. You all... Ugh. Thank you! I knew it! He wouldn't be able to handle it. I'm, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? Yeah, because they already... They gave you cupcakes, they shared their personal moments with you, and it's like... You can't escape now! You're, you're screwed, boy. You're screwed. Hook, line, and sinker. You stepped foot in the door, you ate the cupcake. You're trapped. You ain't getting out of here, Dapper. You trapped. That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Hmm. <laughs> it doesn't sound like too bad of a thing. <laughs> Monica's is looking at you like, WTF, what are you talking about? Turn the club or I kill you. <laughs> um, crap, I can't remember. Oh, so that's Yuri, Monica... I don't know if she's looking at me like, turn the club or kill you. She's just more, like, uh, what's her name? Natsuki. She, Natsuki looks more pissed off than anything. And, good. Can I remove that? Ooh. Yeah! Doo -doo -doo -doo. Ha ha! Like a boss. That's another thing that needs to be removed. <laughs> right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. Oh, Dapper, you caved. Oh, you would have been better just to keep going with it. You just kept going with it. Just kept going. And you, did, you didn't even call it out. You ruined the relationship. Now it's all ruined. One by one, the girl's eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy. Siri wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey, hey. <laughs> you really did scare me for a moment. If really just came for the cupcakes, I would be- I would be super pissed. Like, there's no option to leave the- to leave the club. I think it's supposed to be- somebody said that there's choices matter, but like, so far there's no choice. It's just telling me a story. I don't really like him because the kind of person that wants a third, fourth, or fifth option. Yes, this is true. I want- like, if I'm going to play a visual novel, I want something that gives me choices to do things.
not a spoiler, but more of a game mechanic thing. When you get to a poem writing part, poem writing part, the words you pick correspond to which girl will be mo the most impressed and like you. Okay. So I'm probably gonna pick words that most likely fit to Yuri, just because it seems like her and I really connect. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I'd be super pissed. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. <laughs> okay, Tap, why are you playing this? Um, are you a guy or a girl? Um, I did, I'm pretty sure I'm a guy. I mean, uh, that's the gender I've kind of assigned myself. But I'm pretty sure I'm not a girl. Do I sound like a girl? Do I sound like a girl? Actually, girls sound like a lot of different things. I shouldn't even... I can't even judge me off of that. Welcome to the Literature Club. Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Hey, welcome, 7up. Thanks for joining. <laughs> and welcome, Jedi Master Burrito. <laughs> what is this colorful abomination of a game? This is called Doki Doki Literature Club. For anybody new joining, this is Doki Doki Literature Club, and Happy New Year's to you all. Um... So, due to popular request, people have wanted me to, uh, play this game. And I've been trying to avoid it, because I don't normally play visual novels, because I'm kind of a more... I love reading, but when I sit down at my computer, I want to be active, I want to be playing a game. Um, and so, I guess we get to take a moment and read a visual novel. I hope you guys enjoy. As my face cuts off like whoever's standing over here. I've heard things, this is far from innocent. Yeah, I've heard so too! I'm definitely interested in seeing where this goes, because people say it's spooky. Dabber or dapper? It is dapper. D-A-P-P-E-R. I don't dab. Wait, what was that? I didn't... My, my, my memory was just wiped. What happened? Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Dapper, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Okay, if I need to express myself, I need a drink. Huh. I think your question would have been better framed as a feminine or masculine persona. Um... Actually, if we're going to go that route, I would say I do kind of lean toward the masculine persona just because that's what I've been raised and kind of how I view myself. But at the same time, I don't really, I'm not really biased towards either gender. Well, actually, you know, I, that's, I, that'd be a lie. I am kind of biased towards the feminine gender just because of like past experiences with men and other things like that. Dapper, I look to see. Yeah, I already, I already read that. <laughs> I don't even know how that works. What that even sounds like. Yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? Why am I automatically going towards impressing her? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Dapper, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? Monica wants. Well, what am I drinking? I'm drinking stuff. Just stuff. Things and stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff, to be honest. It's good stuff. It's, um. Stuff. Not alcohol. Certainly not in any way is this alcohol. It's, um, apple juice. Sparkling cider. Monica's too good for me. Uh. Maybe Monica is. I kind of like Yuri, because she's kind of got this... I don't know. I want to say, like, Yuri kind of comes across as she's got this kind of introverted personality, but she's also got, like, this intelligence behind her. She enjoys, like, fantasy, and she enjoys stuff like that. So I kind of like Yuri. So I feel like we're, Yuri and I are going to connect a lot more. Hey, Dapper, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? If the protagonist was a girl, then the characters would be like this. Seiro, Yuro, Monaco, Natsukiyo... Dapper, you should try Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Um, I'm actually gonna be honest, I've never played a Dragon Ball game, ever, in my life. You're his best girl. It is, no, hey, what's up, Manems? Hello. Hello. 
Um, her boobs aren't necessarily that big. He has cannabis. Wait, you're gonna assume it's cannabis oil infused with hard Russian vodka. Um, no, it's from Poland, but good try. Ego? Ego in my Lego my ego? <laughs> oh, you guys are crazy. That's right. Your Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she's always stayed after school for clubs. Hello, Azrai. Wow, we got a lot of people joining in now. Hello. Sure, might as well. Yay! It's not apple juice. Hey, what's up, Justin? Hey. Am I going to see you at your house for the, uh... New Year's Eve party, right, Justin? With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Can I pick Yuri? Start off right now, picking her. I'm <laughs> following you, Monica, and can't get up. Um... Psh, games fever, you crazy man. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Dapper, I can honestly say, literature club is the best thing for you, especially all four of these girls. Develop these relationships, boy. I'm gonna tell you now, relationships are key. Perhaps I'll have the chance to go closer to one of these girls, and there we go. All right, I just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. <laughs> You'll be there? Can you live there? Yeah, this is true. It's time to write a poem. Ooh, I'm so good at writing poems. Just throw some words at me. Okay, let's see. Ooh. I'm gonna go with universe. Ooh. Vivacious. But I also wanna go with music. But there's also... Oh, look at this. These are all really good ones. There's also Hopeless. I like Hopeless. Eternity. Philosophy. Starscape. Starscape sounds magical. <laughs> Most of the viewers here are only for the super hot anime girls. You know, yeah. They're here for cute girls. Y you've seen Hotter 7-Up? You know what? I'm going to be honest. I have seen Hotter too. I'm going with Philosophy. That's a pretty good word. Graveyard, electricity, fantasy, that'll get Yuri. Wait, why did she jump? I'm confused. She jumped at fantasy. Or did they just jump normally? Doki Doki. What is Doki Doki? I don't even know what it means. Woo! Hey, welcome, NX Nighter. Um, Yuri likes big words. Oh, that's good to know. Intellectual, I'll go with that. I have to worry about Natsuki. Yeah, she does look like a 12 year old, and. I do go for mature, just because I feel like older people have a wider range of experiences, and they also have, like, it's a, it's a, all of my good relationships have been with older people, because they've always had an intellectual perspective to bring to everything. The one that bounces up and down, the one, if Yuri jumps the most, that means she's most impressed. Hello. Hello, NX, <laughs> NX Nighter. Hello. The whole chat's blowing up. I'm, I'm trying to read everything at once. Where you remember something but you can't find it again? Oh, uh, yeah. So let's go with Heartbeat. Actually, sounds really cool. So she likes Heartbeat. Okay. Why does she like depression? I don't understand. Destiny. So she likes destiny. So fantasy things. Flying. Puppy. Lust. Strawberry. Melancholy. So she likes sad things. She likes cute things. So what about flying? She likes flying. What about imagination? There we go. Um, contamination? I don't want to say marriage because that could be really weird. She's not real, so it's eagle. <laughs> Hello, Horizons. I'm just playing Doki Doki Club. Be, not to, be sure not to censor. Wait, that thing's those things show up in this game? I don't know if I can handle that. Agonizing. I'm gonna go with fireflies. Oh. 
Rainbow. She likes rainbows. Um. Wonderful. Oh no, why is it her? She's getting. So we're going. Existence. Daydream? No, why is it her again? Treasure! No, why? Okay, crap. It's going towards nuts. It's going towards. What's her name? Uh. Sayori. Um. Special. <laughs> There's Doki Doki Club endings at the bottom of the screen. Let's just tap that. I mean, if you want to just, if you want to just skip to the end, skipping. We're gonna go with that for Grand High Blood skipping. Adventure. Why did she get adventure? I thought she liked adventure. I'm so confused. A tone. There we go. There's another one for her. Please be Yuri. Hi again, Dapper. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Ha ha ha. Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Hey, that follows right along what I do. I definitely keep my word. Can't wait till the weird stuff happen. Me either. I cannot wait. Oh. I can't wait for the weird stuff to happen where it gets interesting. Because it's just telling a story now. It's building up to it. It's when it gets weird it gets interesting. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Dapper. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Thank you for that long sentence, Yuri. Jason. <laughs> I don't think that happens in this game. Doki Doki is a sound made by heart in the Japanese. Oh! That's interesting. Oh, you can't impress Monica with your words. Oh, that is also true. Huh, I wonder how I impress Monica. Oh, everybody's th she's throwing out these game mechanics I don't even know yet. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on, like he deserves any slack. Sayori told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year too. Sayori, you're killing me, Smalls. You're ratting me out. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what, but if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Oh no, you have to go. Well, thanks for joining NX Snyder. I'll see you when you come back. Natsuki, you, shouldn't, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> Natsuki finds herself stuck, be saying, stuck between saying Monica and manga. Huh. Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki pops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Dapper always gives it gives it his best, as long as he's having fun. This is true! If I'm having fun, I'm putting my best into whatever I do. Because why... I mean, if I'm not enjoying it, then why would I put any, any effort into it? You regret watching the endings of Doki Doki Club. I regret watching you watching the end of watching the end of Doki Doki Club. <laughs> he helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. Wait, do I even do I live at your house, Sayori? How dependable. Sayori, that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. This is true. If if I'm in somebody's room that's messy, I'm going to If I'm in if I'm somewhere where it's messy, I I'm 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 obsessing about cleaning. Taste the cosmos. Yes, alumni Azeroth. Taste the cosmos. Taste the rainbow. And you almost set your house on fire <laughs> once. <laughs> Sayori, what are you even doing? <laughs> How do you set your house on fire? I, I had a roommate who set fire to fish. I have no idea how he set fire. I just, he just opened the oven and suddenly there's like flames pouring out of the oven. I think he put like butter like on a pan or something and I don't remember. I swear there's just fire pouring out of the oven. I like grab the uh, I grab the like the uh, hot pads, not the hot pads, whatever they are, heat gloves, oven gloves, and I like smacking out that fire. Man, oh memories. Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. Ooh, you're jealous. nose like cool. it is this is true that is a bit of a spoiler 
How come? You and Dapper can become good friends too. Alumni, let's chill out, dude. Let's let's chill out. Fish, are f yeah. No, I've had some really interesting roommates. I had one roommate who set rice on fire. Sarah's best girl. <laughs> Hi, Cola Tigers. How come you and Dapper can become good friends too? Um, Sayori. Hmm. I feel like Sayori's trying to hook me up with one of these girls. Is that what's gonna happen? I, I wonder if that's it, because she seems really pushing towards, like, certain people. As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she put, just put me into. Oh, oh, Yuri even brought you something today, you know? Wait, Sayori! How do you set rice on fire? With mad skill and science, and magic. He also grows, like... He also grows mushrooms in like these jars in his room, so I have no idea what my roommate really does. But he's from, where's he from? He's from like Nebraska or something, so he's, I don't know. He's got interesting things. Wait, Sayori? Eh, me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? N never mind. Sayori made, this sa made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? One man, four women, and dank me explosive power. <laughs> Ruined a perfectly good rice cooker. Set it on fire. The microwave lit. All hail Monica. You guys are you guys are freaking me out. What is what's wait? Monica's a spawn of the devil. Monica, you guys are you guys. Um, to be honest, I'm not really worried about the size. I'm just interested in personality is what I go for, to be honest. Uh, I'm sorry, Yuri, I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Is it a choice? Hey, don't worry about it. Hey, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You go for appearances? <sighs> yeah, I don't go for person uh, to, for appearances. I go for personality. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. Thank you, Dapper, for saving that perfectly. It'll make me happy no matter what. I is that so? Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. Fire sounds like a Monday in Homestuck. Homestuck or Homestruck? All right. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so I should keep you, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you want it. <laughs> Dapper, give me the power of anime love. Uh, yeah. For me, I'm very empathetic, so when I read things, it's I almost, almost always transfer it over into myself and put myself into that situation. That's why I loved reading growing up. My imagination just took me wild places. This is, how is this girl accidentally being so cute? Um, because her personality is super cute anyways. She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. Enthusiastically take the book. Natsuki is a lolly, yes. Natsuki is a lolly, and I will. I don't know. I, lollies, isn't that like underage girls? I'm not even sure what lolly. I, I don't even. I'm not even sure the defi exact de definition of lolly. Personality uses without character. You know, this is true. If you understand the character behind somebody and why their personality is the way it is, that's also what helps the person to develop and to grow in your eyes. I enthusiastically take the book. Dang it, I skipped the other words! Ah, <laughs> uh, well you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to, see to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. 
Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression, like she was waiting for this chance. I understand this expression, Yuri. I understand. Okay, so Lolly's a prepubescent girl. Okay. Thank you for defining it for me, because I, did, I, I didn't know. I can't help but notice... Oh, I already read that. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet, probably looking for her, uh, her manga. Let's go see what Natsuki's doing. No? Man, looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slumped down into the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related by myself <laughs> like this? Okay, Dapper, you literally just got a book. You just got handed a book. Read the book. Show Yuri that you're interested in what she gave you. Ravioli, Ravioli, don't. <laughs> no, really. If you were killed in Dead Island, man, you should probably pay attention if you're playing Dead Island. Those zombies gonna get you, boy. <gasps> oh, you can hit history! Okay, I've never played a visual novel before. Okay, what did she say? Um, oh, she said phew. That's all she said. Okay. Uh, well, that's good to know. I've, I never played a visual novel. I don't even know. Help <laughs> weeaboos. <laughs> I like cupcakes. Because I like cupcakes. You know, cupcakes are pretty good. Um, but I'm gonna be honest. I'm that one guy that would rather eat a uh, poppy seed muffin than a cupcake. I guess I could always read some of the book Yuri gave me. But I'm feeling a little too tired to read. Don't take a nap! Dapper, don't do this! I could probably fall asleep right now. No, go talk to Yuri. Go start a conversation with this girl. Come on, man. <laughs> I'm a weeb. <laughs> yes, my first visual novel. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Ah, uh, yeah. I've never... Yeah, I've never read it. Or, never... I've, I've seen other people play visual novels, but I've never played one myself. Or read. I'm not even sure how you actually play. I closed my eyes and ended up listening in on Sayori's conversation with Monica. We're probably going to seem really lame compared to all the other clubs, though. Hmm. Well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. Yo, Rekka. Pew pew! Oh, yeah. Cupcakes are fine without being overloaded. Dang it. Yeah, we can't give up. Without being overloaded. I, I'm a muffin guy. I love muffins. Like, that's my favorite thing in the morning is to have a muffin with... Ooh, what do I love with muffin? I love apple juice or even chocolate milk. Chocolate milk with a muffin is amazing. The problem is that the idea of a literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. But it's not like that at all, you know? We just need a way of showing that to everyone. Something that speaks to their creative mind. Hey, what's up, Nate Dog? Are you a cheeky furry? Hi, mate, I'm a cheeky furry. What's up with you? Ice cream cake. Ice cream cake. Oh, that's another one that's so good. When I used to work in a bakery, I would make ice cream cake for kids' birthdays, and I loved doing that. Oh, I made, oh, what did I do? One cake I made, I put ice cream, and then I had like a layer of caramel, like just kind of like wafted in. It was just so pretty, and I, I almost wish I could have tried that cake, because I'm pretty sure it would have tasted amazing. Wait, 20, bra 20 brownies without dying? Dude, that's a whole pan. That's a lot. Something that speaks to their creative minds. Manga is literature. I have read manga, so I know what I know what manga is like. Reading from right to left. Ah, oh. hey, I'm back. <laughs> and it's Nida. Welcome, <laughs> welcome back. Mm. That doesn't solve the problem, though. Eh? What do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever. Nobody will come in the first place if it's a literature event. Well, they'll come if you provide nice drinks. So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? Dapper tried garlic bread. Garlic bread... I've made garlic bread. I used to work in a bakery, mate. Come on. Bakeries are fun. It was always great because I'd come home with, like, flour in the most ridiculous of places. So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? Who's your first- wait. I'm a partial? Wait, I'm confused. 
you want to get game theory but I must not press it <laughs> don't click on game theory because game theory will ruin everything after and after they come we can do the thing to speak to their creative minds what's this Sayori is taking this really seriously it's ready to hear the deliberate to hear her deliberating like this you want to get some action with this you better play more and read less man <laughs> well I'll play more but it's like that's part of the whole experience is reading the story huh that's a good point. But I guess you mean like reading the comments. I'm just maintaining I'm just maintaining like interaction with the comments cuz the chats the chats you're all a bunch of crazy people. Flowers pants. My pants were so I was required to wear black pants in the bakery with flour. So I would always have white pants with black on the back. Cuz I just got flour everywhere. It was just it was the most messy job. Huh, that's a good point. <laughs> what are you doing in my anime story? <laughs> Who is my favorite character? My favorite character so far is Yuri. Sayori is okay because she's trying to, because it feels like she's trying to hook me up with her friends, which is nice because I grew up with her, so she probably doesn't view me in a rom romantic manner. Um, more of like a sister manner, so she's trying to hook me up with Monica and Natsuki and Yuri, which is how it feels like so far. Oh, yeah. Is it ha oh no, not Happy New Year's yet. I think there's still like three hours before Eastern Seaboard gets Happy New Year's. In that case, do you think food? Oh, I'm reading her in my voice. In that case, do you think food will do the trick? What kind? Cupcakes. Cupcakes will make everything better. Ah, well, I guess we could. Cupcakes. Thank you, Sayori. Oh, she knew exactly where I was going with that. Yeah, you don't have to do all caps to get my attention. I, I'm looking over reading the chat. It's, who, when you do like all caps, I start to read it in like a super... It's like you're yelling at me. It's like, who's your favorite character so far? It's like, what are you doing in my anime story? Aha, good thinking. Natsuki would love to do that. Ah, you're right. Hey, Deborah can help too. Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. That works out perfectly. As my voice starts to go back. That wasn't why you suggested it? Cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. <laughs> Sayori. Cupcakes it is then. I'm hungry. Of course you are, Sayori. When someone chooses Monica as their waifu first time playing, shake my head. Ah. Uh. Now I'm really tense. I don't want to pick Monica. Everybody's like doing. Everybody's saying really scary things about Monica. So I mean, hmm. Anyway, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. I find myself smiling. In the end, Sayori is still her usual self. <laughs> Would you play the game only to date Monica? <laughs> but therein lies the unexpected reason why I admire her. Unlike me. Who has trouble finding any motivation at all. Siri can put her mind to things and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I ended up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her through her eyes. Wah! I open my eyes to <laughs> I open my eyes to find Siri's face filling my vision. I nearly fall out of my chair. <laughs> Sorry. Wait! Actually, I'm not sorry at all! It's your fault for sleeping like that! This isn't the napping club! <laughs> it's not! This is not for napping! You could've been pretending to read, Dapper! Why'd you sleep? Does our school have a napping club? You're staying up late again, aren't you? Probably gaming. Or nope, it's for my YouTube channel. For It's for all y'all. <laughs> the chat is about baking. <laughs> the chat is in chaos! Welcome to the chat room of Dapper. Of Dapper Panther. Now that you're in a club, you're gonna have less time for anime, you know. You'll need to get used to it. Don't say that so loud. I glance over my shoulder to see if Monica overheard. Dude, Dapper, give up on Monica. Give up. Just don't. You already told yourself once she's out of your league. I didn't think so, but you did. So go for Yuri. When did you start the Borderlands pre-sequel game? Um, I did play some of the Borderlands pre-sequel earlier. Uh, earlier in the week, last week. 
It's true though. Yeah, I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Sayori. Eh heh. It's what I do best. That's a problem! What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're, st you're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Eh? No, no, not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? That's... That, it's a secret! I knew it. Come on! At least give me the benefit of the doubt. Please go for Sayori. Wait. <laughs> I don't know... I don't know if I want to go for Sayori, because she's putting out this vibe that she's trying to hook me up with, with her friends. So I'm going to go for Yuri. I can't even do that. Look, Sayori, it's written all over you. Eh? Sayori glances all around herself. Uh... She took it too. She took it too literally. She's killing me. How is it written all over me? You were clear. You were clearly in a rush this morning. Look, your hair sticking out all around here. Ah! I run my fingertips down the side of Sayori's hair, trying to straighten it out. Man, you really need a brush for this. My hair is just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. No, I I believe her because my hair is freaking. My hair is. A mess and it's so hard to control sometimes. <laughs> Imagine the day when there's enough people in the chat to get. Imagine the day when there's enough people in the chat is getting four comments a second. How are you gonna keep up? I probably won't, and I'll be really sad. Cause I love interacting with the chat. I love seeing what they're talking about, and I love I love people. That's why that's why I'm kind of asexual, because I love interacting with people. I love seeing the relationships. I'm not interested in the other things, the the sexual side of things, because it's more about the intellectual properties that, and personalities that people have that I love. I won't fall for that. There's more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't straight either. And there's a toothpaste stain on your collar right there. I try to wipe off the stain with my finger. But nobody would ever notice that. No, I noticed it. Of course they would. Nobody's going to tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I don't really care about that. Hey, you meanie. And you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. So, why does it need to be buttoned up? Seriously, Sayori. Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Oh, no. Man, stop. Dapper, no, you don't bring that up. People have choices and people want to be alone. They can be alone. Man. Come on, dude. Don't tr No, man. thought over over wait just chose a thought this makes me wait what i'm gonna be i never mind i i'm I, i'm just gonna i don't even know what that means eh that's super mean that's what i thought dapper why would you say that why would i say that sorry but you'll thank me later no you she won't that was just rude that was heartless some people don't want to be in a relationship sometimes they're holding out for their people Sometimes they're comfortable where they are. Don't judge somebody just because they're not in a relationship. Everybody has their own reasons. I started to, to button her blazer from the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. To be honest, I like her look. I don't think she should change it. Dapper, leave her alone. It's her personality. Eh heh. This is so funny. What is? Well, I was just thinking how, <laughs> how weird it is to have a friend who does these kinds of things. Eh? Don't say that. I think it's funny, she it keeps saying, eh. It's like, who says, eh, 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 don't worry about it. Are you from New York? I don't even know. Is that how New Yorkers speak? I'm not even sure. Don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about it, stupid. Baka. <laughs> definitely play Left 4 Dead 2. Definitely play some Borderlands 2 with me. Okay, Horizons, we'll have to play some... What's tomorrow? Tomorrow's Monday? Yeah, we can play some tomorrow. For sure, man. It's okay, though. I'm happy we're like this. Aren't you? Uh, I, I guess. Hey, be careful. The button might come off. 
Why is this one so hard to close? Because she's got... Because <laughs> she's got boobs, yo. Does this thing even fit you properly? <laughs> Tapper, don't look. I didn't... I didn't... I didn't even look. I wasn't looking, guys. No worries. No, no spoilers yet. It did when I bought it. Well, when you bought it, it was probably your first year. If you've gotten older, you've gotten bigger boobs. If you ever buttoned it, you would have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. But teachers aren't bothering her about it, so I mean, it's, it's not that big of a problem, right? What are you smiling about? <laughs> it means my boobs got bigger again. <laughs> who just... <laughs> who just says that? Don't say that out loud. <laughs> Oh, I need another drink. Uh, uh, yeah, Jackie. Oh man, I'm almost out of drink. Anyway, you look much better now. So, ah, why does it feel strange to see Sayori's blazer buttoned up like that? But it's so stuffy. Ooh, it's not worth it at all. Sayori hastily unbuttons her blazer once more. She looks cuter with the unbutton. Just saying. <laughs> People pushing brother games. Oh, get this for a second. Pyre too. I will finish Pyre. I'm definitely interested in Pyre. Phew. That's so much better. Sayori puts her arm out and twirls around. So if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? Dapper. Dapper. My man. My man. Dapper. It's okay to be alone. You don't need to have somebody. You can have friends. You can have relationships where you're close with people. But you don't need to have a boyfriend. You don't need to have a girlfriend. You don't need to have a wife. Man, you can be happy by yourself. But this is also high school. They haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> Sayori suddenly moans. <laughs> that'd be so... That'd be so weird. I I don't know if I could handle that. I couldn't handle that if she moaned randomly. Huh. And why are you saying that like it's a good thing? Because if I had a boyfriend, they wouldn't let you... He wouldn't even let you do things like this. And you take care of me better than anyone else would anyway. So that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. Stop saying all these embarrassing things. Eh? I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well, anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Fine, fine. Can I change... There's no way to change... Okay. I was just checking to see if there's any way to change the language settings. Because if I could put it in, like... I don't know. It feels like it's, like, American or Canadian English. Like, who says eh? I don't even know. <laughs> 12 watching. Yeah! <laughs> That's right, Justin. I got 12 people. A whole 12 people. And the chat's going so fast. <laughs> Discord. Okay, fine. You can send me a funny meme on Discord. No promises that I'll be able to read it just yet. Fine, fine. It's a deal. <laughs> I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are at taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so. Huh. So maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. No, that's just it. That, 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 I'm not waking up in the morning. You need to start doing it yourself, girl. You're doing it again, Sayori. Oh, but I was joking that time. Man, it's impossible to tell with you sometimes. Okay, everyone. Eh? Huh? I should just switch from eh to huh? Huh? Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we share the poems we just wrote? We wrote now. This dissonance between you and the character. This is one of my greatest gripes in the visual novel. Not enough options in the words in the world to truly insert yourself into the world. Yeah, it truly is colorful. <laughs> it's not vodka. It's sparkling cider, guys. Yay! Dapper, I can't wait to read yours. Yeah, same. I failed to sound enthusiastic, but Siori still still trots away to retrieve her poem. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Of course, Monica. Of course. 
I wouldn't forget. Yeah. My relaxation ends. Now I get nervous because I'm around Monica. Imagine the eh ooh sound like how they do them in the anime. Eh? I'm trying to remember. Oh, I haven't watched anime in forever. Uh, how do they make that sound? Eh? Ooh? Eh? Ooh? Ooh? I don't even know. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. It's not embarrassing. If it's true and it's honest to yourself, it sounds great. Who can be dapper, babe? <laughs> Who can be dapper, babe? I don't even know. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? We can't just share it as a group? Let's just share it as a group. Why just read it to a specific person? I can't wait. Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Oh, Bye, York! Thanks for tuning in! Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Who should I show my poem to first? Yuri! Of course! Yuri seems the most experienced, so I should start with her. I can trust her opinion to be fair. Dot dot dot. Mmm. Yuri starts with the poem. A minute pass. A minute passes. More than enough time for her to finish reading. Um. Oh! Sorry! I forgot to start speaking. Um. It's fine. Don't, for don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Er, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Oh, ah, so it's that bad. No! Did I just raise my voice? Uh, I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. Oh, YouTube broke. No, not the YouTubes. It's no thought. Wait, wait, what? Neko neko ni. Yeah. Heck, it tastes like juice. <laughs> it might take a Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine. I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right. Um. It's just that there were specific writing habits that are usually typical for, of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most notable thing, noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be playing for. There's so many different skills and techniques that go into techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. You might have made your poem more Sayori oriented. Mm. Yeah, probably because I know that Sayori did jump a lot while I was trying to write it. Because I was looking out. Because somebody said, oh, I don't remember who said it. Somebody said that. Um, your response to longer words, and I kept clicking on longer words, and Siri just kept jumping up for um, depressed, um, melancholy. I wasn't thinking about words that are like adventurous, not sophisticated words, because melancholy is a sophisticated word, in my opinion. Um, most people just say sad when they're sad. Them souls not gonna read themselves. Hmm. Okay, well, thanks for joining, alumni. Good to have you here. Le go for Sayori, you leave her hanging. Wait, that's why you had the big, big interaction with her shirt. Oh, okay. But Sayori was trying, it felt like Sayori was trying to hook me up with the other three girls. Am I, I don't even know. I don't even know. 
Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice, learning by example, and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can, Natsuki can be a little bit biased, though. Biased? How? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It, it's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Yeah. Guys, don't, don't, no spoilers, guys, please. Por favor. That's no more spoilers. Because I already know that Natsuki's dad beats her. So, I mean, that's kind of, that's, uh, it makes me feel really bad for Natsuki. Also, there's a, there's a chair in the closet back there. That's kind of weird. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I love to share my thought process behind it. That's actually cool. I love hearing people's poems and understanding where it came from. Yuri smiles dreamily as if that's a rare opportunity for her, which is which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing. It must be this one. Last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calm, breathing air of the present but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. That's actually really cool. I like that. If it was an actual Japanese uh, character, it might... Maybe it'd rhyme. But in itself, it flew. It flowed on its own. Hey, what's up, Cam Camilliole? And stolen semicolon. Why no spoilers? Um, because I'm trying to play this game without, like, looking too far into the future. Yes, Yuri has purple hair. <laughs> No, I'm not spoiled. I, I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. You have great hand. It's, it looks actually, to be honest, it looks like my handwriting in real life. So I'm not even, I'm not even worried about it. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read because I was enjoying it. Ah, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh? 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 That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It was very descriptive, and it even flowed to the point that it, it, like, it had good rhythm to it. I enjoyed that. It was very nice. It wasn't too short. I usually, I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Dapper. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Now I kind of want to go back and read it. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it, after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts feelings and experiences in their works. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost, lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. You heard a sub? <laughs> well, thanks for subbing, Kirola Tigers. I appreciate it. Sayonara. Well, sayonara. Happy New Year. Good day to you. Uh, have a good night, whichever time zone you are in. Good night, good day. You said you're in Canada, so it's uh, nighttime for you, I suppose. But either way, thank you for subbing. Thank you to all the new subscribers. I, I guess I got a couple, or I got a few new ones. Yeah, cool. I got three more. Thanks for subscribing, guys. As everything starts freaking out, please don't freak out. Right there, right, right, right there, right there. There we go. Okay. 
and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. She's she's cute, she's smart, she's an introvert, she loves reading, she's loyal, she has the biggest anime teeth. <laughs> I've said her name. She's probably <laughs> It's certainly not the person on the screen, that's for sure, madam. That's impressive. It's nothing really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Who should I show my poem to next? Well, I should show it to Sayori. We must make a Discord group chat for your views to join and talk with you. Um, I do already have a Discord group chat, actually. Um, <laughs> shipping, all these shipping wars is only first episode. Yeah, I know, right? All these people are shipping for that. Um, I can actually post it in chat for, I might just make a link for it, a permanent link. Give me half a tick. Um, let's make a, oh wait, don't edit channel. Give me half a sec, guys. Create a never expiring, no, we'll just, uh, we'll copy. We'll just set an expiring one, and eventually I'll make one that is non-expiring. But this is to the Discord chat. My, uh, the Discord that I run. If anybody's interested in watching that. Da, da, da. Oh my goodness! This is so good, Dapper! Huh? I love it! I had no idea you were such a good writer. Sayori, you must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. <laughs> Sayori, what are you doing? Oh, she's killing me. <laughs> Jeez. Yuri's opinion was way more constructive than this. Maybe even Natsuki's. Are you sure you don't like just you don't like it just because I wrote it? Hello, welcome Neva the Weebs. <laughs> we got more Weebs joining us tonight. Hello. I'm a weeb myself, so welcome. Welcome to the club. The Doki Doki Literature Club. Eh? Well, I'm pretty sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of, of other people, you know. So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a dapper poem. Hey! I'm getting all dapper up in here. And that makes it feel extra special. Like I can feel your feelings in it. Sayori hugs the sh- Sayori, don't be weird. Don't, 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 don't be weird. Sayori hugs a sheet against her cheek, against her chest. You're so weird, Sayori. Thank you, Dapper, you caught it. <laughs> I'm really happy just that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet. But that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's just like I said before, Dapper. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this is for other like trying new things like this for other people. <laughs> I watch a stream from my tablet or a Discord on the computer. <laughs> Can't join without pulling in an echo. Yeah, um, I'm not I've I'm not gonna join the voice chat just yet. Or during this stream, because there's a lot of reading I have to do. That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motives here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined, which she literally is. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah, and I'm going to make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That would be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'll try to hold you. I'm going to hold you to that then. Yay! Now, you read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. I am worried. We'll see about that. Dear Sunshine, The way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you miss me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. 
Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a, tr a rainy day? Look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sayori, what did you even write? Yeah. <laughs> yep, welcome. You joined at the perfect time, Frank Jr. Good to see ya. And we caught another person, Kazuki Sensei. Hey, como esta? Sorry, this is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? <laughs> no. That's why he included breakfast, because <laughs> she was hungry. <laughs> just, j just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least it makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. It sounds like a, uh... Sayori poem. Oh my wow, Shindieru. <laughs> Seven up and Kazuki. I saw what you guys were going for there. Shindieru. That's that's the meme, right? Where he like fires the laser bolt or something. I think that's Shindieru. Mo <laughs> Shindieru. <laughs> Just lasers. Firing my laser. As I get distracted. Sorry, guys. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. <laughs> I made eggs and toast. Nani. <laughs> but, 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 Baka. Uh, dang, I'm going. I'm, I'm trying not to go full weeb over here. Even though you were late to school, it's it's bad to skip breakfast. It is. I will be late to work if I don't get breakfast and a shower before work. I don't care how late I am. I need both a shower and food. Before I even leave my apartment. No matter what. I get all cranky. I get cranky too. I know how that is. I have, a, I have hypoglycemia. So it's like if I don't eat food. I get super cranky. Because my, my blood sugar drops like none other. Well. I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway. Thank you for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Uh. Yeah. But next time. I won't forget. Which one is my favorite girl? I'm going to answer without a doubt. It's Yuri right now. I definitely get along pretty well with Yuri. Guys, <laughs> what's up, Aaron McCann? Oh, Senpai. Notice me, Senpai. And I'm going to write the best poem. I'm going to write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I'll look forward to it. Shower at night. Almost always skip breakfast. For me... I have to shower in the morning because I sweat so much while I'm sleeping. It's disgusting. I have my window open, like freezing cold air coming in. I get wake up with ice on my floor just so it doesn't get too hot while I'm sleeping. I'm going to show Natsuki and end with Monica because I feel like Monica doesn't really care either way. I can't end up with Monica. But yeah, I got to shower in the morning just because I want to smell nice. My hair is also like my hair is evil. My hair will do whatever it freaking wants if it, whenever it wants to unless I shower. If this video hits 20 likes, you must play Get Over It. Oh, you say that now. But I'm not sure you want to see me playing Getting Over It. I'm not sure I'd be very good with it. I'd probably, I'd probably, I don't know if I'd actually be able to finish Getting Over It. And actually, I do own Getting Over It because it came with my Humble Bundle this month. So perhaps I will play it. We will see. It came with my Humble Bundle. So... Wake up with ice on your floor. Yeah, no, where I am. Hey, what's up, cool gamer boy? <laughs> dot, 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 dot. <laughs> where I live, it was, well, it, I woke up with ice on my floor the other day. Um, because I had my window wide open and I had a fan blowing. And I think I must have spilled water or something. Or I must have showered. <laughs> Most of the YouTubers pick Yuri. That's a rage game. I don't normally, well, okay, actually, just kidding. People have seen me rage, but that's because I've done something stupid. I'm mad at myself. Um, and it's mostly playing Overwatch 2. 
Um, but yeah, so I think there was like water on my floor and I woke up in the morning and like my floor was ice cold. I'm also on the bottom floor, so I've got cement underneath my carpet. And so, yeah, there was ice on my floor. It also got like, I think got like two degrees at night. It was freezing cold and that's two degrees Fahrenheit. It's like negative Celsius here still. Anyways, get back to this. Well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. That's a little blunt. Well, excuse me, princess. It's not like I said it was bad. It just didn't evoke any emotions. So basically, it's not cute enough for your tastes. Do you want to get smacked? Girl, you can smack me all you want, but you're liable to break your fingers on my face. Also, you'd have to jump up like three feet to reach my face, because I'm fairly confident you weigh less, you weigh less than like 100 pounds. You probably weigh less than 70 pounds. And you're probably lower than like four foot. Just saying, girlfriend. Oh, you stepped on a Lego. Oh, that's the worst. I actually stepped on a Lego when I was younger. And it went right up into my foot. Like it went right on the corner. It went right up in there. And I had a little like square stab wound on my foot. It was actually not square. It was more like a little triangle because it was the corner cutting up into my foot. I'll pass. Well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine then. Not that you'll like it. It's zero degrees for me, Tapper. Oh, zero degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit? Because either way, that's freaking cold. Pooh. Not that you like it. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Pewdies can run. Eagles can fly. People can try. But that's about it. I love how the music just kind of simplified down at that moment. <laughs> Alrighty then. It just got super... <laughs> it just it just got really childish at that moment, which I guess is why everybody's saying lolly whenever they see Natsuki. Yeah, I told you that you weren't gonna like it. It was very simplistic. It was minimalistic. It wasn't bad. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. It doesn't. If it's simple, that's like look at haikus. Haikus are super simple. But if you say them just right, they sound like words of the gods, like something mystical said and heard from a tree on a winding cliff somewhere off in the middle of the back roads. Haikus and poems are amazing. Hey, what's up, Cory? How's it going? You're still hammered? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you got you got on faster than me. Which one is colder than the other one? Zero degrees Celsius is actually warmer than zero degrees Fahrenheit. Um, I think zero degrees Fahrenheit is like negative... I think it's like ne negative 10 or 11 Fahren or Celsius. I'm not even sure. To the point you get frostbit. I think you start getting frostbit around the freezing temperature, to be honest. Oh yeah, I agree with you, Kazuki. Haikus are awesome. So people don't even take my writing seri seriously. But it isn't the point of poems for people to express. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your sh your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. Like I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard, like in this poem, which is true. Because people try, but that's about it. Most people will try, but they'll stop if they can't do it. If it takes too much effort, people will give up, and that's the sad thing. And that's also the thing about that's also that's also the thing about getting over it. Is people give up on getting over it because they can't get over it. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. You have a Cuphead mod, mod called Mughead. It makes Cuphead blue and Mughead red. Hmm. For you need to have a very big IQ to understand that Suki's poem. Well, 
Well, yeah, because if you don't understand her poems, they seem super simplistic. Or if you have a too large of an ego, you don't understand her poem. It's like, oh, she just wrote about all these silly things. But it's the last thing that gets you. It's talking about, like, basically her poem talks about how all these animals have all these purposes in life and all these things that they do. But that last two sentences, those last two lines, people try. But that's about it. That's something that all we can do is try. Told that the weeaboo virus infected. you. <laughs> hey, oh, wait, he's making a Rick and Morty joke. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. And I did notice that! Oh, well, thank you for finding my channel, Queen Lu Luver... Luversil. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Luversil. And thank you for... And, uh, I'm glad you enjoy it. This is... To be honest, I love doing this. I love meeting new people. This is always a great thing to do. That's what I meant. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. I didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Good! This Depper understands! Don't care what anybody's age is! Everyone's- if ever- if they can say- if they contain the intelligence and the personality and the maturity for that high level of a thought, that's impressive. I approve. And last but not least, it's Monica, the person everyone's telling me is crazy. And welcome- oh, the whole chat's blowing up. <laughs> Hi, I Cat Bell. Why do I have slow mode- why do I have slow mode on if we only have 14 viewers? Because I have been raided recently, and I am sick of people exploding the whole chat with, like, spamming the same thing over and over again. Because I usually read the chat pretty quick, so there's no need for people to spam, but it still happens anyways. And... Am I a furry? Yes, I am a furry. <laughs> I thought you noticed it earlier, Manams, but I think you might have sipped out when somebody else asked that, but yes, I am a furry. So, thank you for noticing. Hi, Dapper. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Are you in phase one? Yes, I think I'm in act one. I just started, so... And I've never seen anybody else play this. So, hopefully it gets interesting. Natsuki a Sundare. Um, I, 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 I don't even know full definition of Sundare, but I think she is. Good, I'm glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. You should try to stay as far away from Monica. Okay, that's what everybody's telling me. So thank you, Queen Luversil, for letting me know. So, everybody's telling me stay away from Monica and that Monica's bad, so I, th I guess that spoiler's already out there, that spoiler's already ruined. So, oh well, say la vie. I'm always listening. Well, I hope you're not. If you're listening to me right now, I'm terrified. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just by going with the flow than until I'm more settled in. Anyway... Want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Oh, it's fireworks. I'm sitting here, it's like, it sounds like knocking on my door. But it's fireworks. People are sending off fireworks. It's not even midnight yet. It's like, like four hours. Okay. It will get interesting. Sorry is best girl. 
If Dapper and Mewtwo did the, the you figure that out. I can't, f I'm playing a game. Ha ha ha, ha ha ha, as she's laughing at me. Mewtwo and Dapper. Muper? And me, and Mewtwo and a Dapper would be a well-dressed Mew. Don't worry, Dapper. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. I like this one. It makes me think of something Sayori would like. Do too. Do too is actually kind of cool. And I like the ending with the song. She isn't as bad at the end. Is that so? You and Sayori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had some sort of things in common. Ah, well, we may be good friends, but Sayori and I are actually really different. Hmm. Well, that may be the case. But maybe there are also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you. It sounds like the two of you really care about each other's well-being. Well, yeah, if, you, if, if you've known somebody for as long as you've known each other, then, like, that would be really hard. To watch the other one suffer and not, like... That's just me. Like, I would want to take care of her. If I'm watching somebody else suffer, I'd want to help her out. <laughs> Mewtwo would be wearing a tuxedo and have that green-white details on it. Yeah, pretty much. And Mewtwo would also have, like, spots everywhere. There's also a blue spot on his back. Or, it's back. Even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you'd think. So I think that's the kind of vibe I get when reading your poem. Hmm. You're sure you're not reading into it too much? Ahaha, <laughs> I could be. Oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. But in any case, Sayori's writing was kind of a has kind of a gentle feel to it. I can tell that she likes exploring she likes exploring with emotions like happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy could enjoy sad things too? Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, to each their own. And you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit either. I'm sure it'll, I'm sure it'll end up trying I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. Are you going to do this entire game tonight? I doubt it. Um, as soon as I finish this, I'm probably going... As soon as it hits around the two hour mark, I'm probably going to end the stream here. I'll come back later. I was just doing this just because I missed the other day. Hey, welcome, Yang. Good to have you here. Thanks for joining. This game is like four hours long, so that means I'm two hours in. I'm about halfway through. Maybe until 12 a.m. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably not going to do the entire game tonight, because um, I haven't invited to a plethora of parties, and I've already got started on a party of my own. <laughs> but I do have to go see my uh, my brother-in-law. Maybe I'll co come back later on the night, stream some more, just around like midnight here. We'll see what happens, but in case I'm not back tonight, Join back in again tomorrow, and uh, keep tuned in. Uh, what is the button? You hit the uh, bell icon. That'll let you know if you're subscribed to me. That'll let you know if I'm when I'm playing next. But anyways, we'll keep going. We'll finish the first day here, and then we'll end the stream there. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. Pretty sure it's work. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, I have work. I have work in like 12 hours, but that's okay. I can always sleep. Yes, they did tell me to keep my eyes on the file, so I'm going to check that as well. Everybody's getting on me to check everything else out. Play with the files open. Thank you, Grell Sutcliffe and Rip Van Winkle. I will also do that as well. That's the best way to find the style, the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased towards their own kind of styles, but I'll always help you find what suits you the most. Oh, you're not yet halfway? Oh, that's right. I have spent a lot of time responding to people. I need to focus more on this. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone wants you to... The way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Ahaha. Ahaha. I was almost going to go back and forth. Ahaha. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? 
Don't worry, it's not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. You should play the game with the game folder opened and look at it from time to time. I left her this morning. Okay. I will... Okay. I will I will open the file and I'll check it before the, the stream is over just to make sure. Well, that's because I have no... I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? This is true, because you do have to act confident sometimes, even though you're completely terrified with the situation that's going on, and you feel totally out of your league. Yes, Yuri is babe. I do like Yuri. I really want to end up with Yuri. I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in wall. Oh, there's a scroll thing. Okay. Hole in wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction the spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend, I'll never know. I wasn't home. Up here inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, blind, like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas. Already scorched with a permanent copy, copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. What? I almost don't even feel like this music matches the, the poem. Like, it's like... Some weird, like, synthwave stuff. Always check your files. You never know what might pop up. Or disappear. Okay. Now I'm gonna check that. Just because you guys keep saying this... Okay, there's nothing on my desktop. Let's check. Okay. It'll just be my Steam folder, right? Or does, is there a save in my actual documents? Let's see. It would be under D for Doki, right? Or would it be under temp? No. It's under the Steam file, right? It's gonna be a long gameplay. Yeah, of course, it's gonna be a long gameplay. That's how it works. That's how everything works. Let's check common. And then... Where's Doki Doki? Here we go. Would it be under characters? Let's find that Monica's is the largest one. It says it's 135. Can I, throw that? Can I turn that off? display yeah so it only says that Monica's is up Monica's is, has a higher one contents yeah it's not showing anything new so we'll leave it on that we'll go back so what do you think Hmm, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not very I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really Excuse me. It can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? It was actually a really deep poem, I liked it. Ah, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. That moved up, I can't see that. Okay, now I can see the chat. Wait. There we go. Okay, it's just looking at the overall game folder. Okay. Look at it every once in a while. Okay. I guess you could say I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that, because it's coming out, it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. If 
you ever hear a song being played by a piano, it's Monica. Hmm. That's interesting. <laughs> you got some Doritos and some Dew. Well, I have no more drinks. <laughs> I'll have to go make some more. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. That's actually interesting. I like that. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Phew! I guess that's everyone. I glanced around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing habit. <laughs> my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. It is, this is a literature club after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes, my eyes land on, Nuri, on Nuri, Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows fur in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Because one, so Yuri uses sophisticated language, intellectual language, and Natsuki used simplified stuff. And so Yuri's like, oh, she she thinks it's endearing. It's nice. And Natsuki's just utterly confused. Natsuki dismissively returns a poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. Thank you. That's exactly what I understood from the poem too. I wasn't, I'm not just crazy. I knew what she meant. Ah, oh, I feel so much better now. How can that be cute? I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out that nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. Day's close to ending. Okay, so I'll end, I'll, I'll end at the day's ending. Wait, what did Queen Louver still say? I want to see... Okay, well, I guess... I guess... Queen re removed it. I want to see what... She, I want to see what they said. Hey, what's up? I ran out Honk, honk. Honk, honk, bork, bork. Meow, meow. 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 Hmm. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it. And Dapper did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time a long time establishing my... <laughs> she uses such long words. I'm such a tongue twister. Uh, but I've spent, to, I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon. Unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. Bork, bork. Natsuki is kawaii. Um, yes, she is definitely kawaii. Different time zone? Yes, we are all on different time zones. So yes, I will end. I will end the stream before it's midnight somewhere. It's just so it's ending on the last... This is the last stream of 2017, guys. Hope you all enjoyed it. <laughs> and Dapper liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. I was impressed by it. It was very deep. But Monica's poem was very deep as well. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh, I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress a new member, Yuri. <laughs> of course, they've got to make it awkward. Uh.
That's not what I... Oh... You... You're just... Your sense up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Dapper appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Guys, let's be nice. You guys, don't fight. You're killing me. Huh. And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Oh, 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 burn! Ooh, snap! Oh, it's a burn fest over here. Somebody get the ice pack. Somebody get the water. Somebody call the fire department. Oh, cause these girls are on fire. Oh, savage! You know a good route too, so don't- We can figure out different routes after I finish the game. I want to try a first playthrough, just so I can finish this game. Um, is everything- is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Dapper starts showing up. <gasps> what? I thought you were talking about Sayori, but apparently you're talking about Yuri now. Um, Natsuki, that's a little- this doesn't involve you! I don't like fighting, guys. Neither do I! Suddenly, both girls turned towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. You know, I've been in the same classroom the whole time. I didn't even notice I was here. Huh. <sighs> yes, this song makes me uncomfortable. It's like going up and then down. It's a roller coaster. Dapper! She's, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective. No, I think they're both effective. Different styles require different things, and different words need to be said in different ways. That's why the la that's why language is so amazing. That's why words are so fantastic. Then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Dapper. Wait! There's a reason we have to- we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. Thank you. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Thank you. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Dapper? Yes. Um, well? How did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. <laughs> Chill, exactly. Whoever, but whoever I agree, I, I can't speak. Whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. And of course, I can. Okay, well, I'm a save. Empty strat. And go with Yuri. I'm sorry, Natsuki. But I think all words are important. It's it's. The combination of both the simple and the complex that help build all these different emotions, these different feelings, these different phrases, and these different experiences. Like, come on, man. It's words. Come on. Words. Word. <laughs> but bird's a word. Natsuki, you're right that I liked your poem. See? Wait. That's not an excuse for you to be so mean. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different. Thank you, Dapper! You're saying what I would say! That's not what happened at all! Gary wouldn't even take my poem seriously. Hmm, I understand. Yuri, eh? You're, serious, you're a seriously talented writer. It's no secret that I was impressed. Well, that's... But well, here's the thing. All words matter. <laughs> Yali gave Natsuki the chicken? Words. <laughs> no matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, they're still putting feelings into it and it becomes something really personal. What the heck? I just said this! Why is it? Okay. That's not weird at all. That's why Natsuki feels threatened when you said her poem was cute. Because she felt like you were demeaning her. 
Oh man, this is really on par. I this is what I'd say. I I see. I didn't notice that I I'm sorry. But Natsuki, you took it way too far. Yuri means well, and if you just told her how you felt, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Are you kidding? That's exactly what I did! It was her that... Natsuki, I think that's enough. You both said some things that you didn't mean. Yuri apologized. Don't you think that you should too? Mm. Natsuki clenches her fists. In the end, nobody has taken her side. She's trapped, at this point being defined only because she can't handle the pressure. I end up being... I end up even feeling bad for her. Depper killed a girl? What are you talking about? I didn't kill anybody! <laughs> Never judge a book because it can give you a paper cut. From dissonance to resonance. You know, I love when this happens, when it's like, oh, oop, hey, look at that. It's exactly what you would say in real life. Um... Sometimes when I'm hurt, it helps to take a walk and clear my head. Siori, she doesn't need to... You know what? I'm going to do that. It'll spare me from having to look at all your faces right now. <laughs> Without warning, Natsuki snatches her own poem up from the desk and storms out. Wait, this is... A... Try avoiding Yuri the most? But wait, wait, wait. Everybody's telling me to avoid Monica. I want... No, okay. I'm... I know you're telling me to avoid Yuri. But I really resonate with Yuri. You don't need to worry about removing it. I just wanna. I, I wanna. I, I kinda wanna see Yuri. On her way out, she crumps up the poem with her hands and throws it in the trash. Natsuki. She really didn't need to do that. I look across the room. Yuri has her chin buried in her hands while she stares down at her desk. So that's the thing about Yuri, she has like this really intelligent side and she talks about these really interesting things. But I feel like, if she's like me, if she's like me, that means she's also going to have a darker side. A kind of grim side to her, like she's got to be dealing with anxiety or dealing with depression. Um, I feel like she's got to have some type of mental issue that I can also relate to. I gingerly approach her and sit in an adjacent adjacent chair. She can be sad now. What a weird question. <laughs> Everything all right? Not that question. Your question. You, I know you said you have a weird question, so ask your question. I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted like that. You probably hate me now. No, Yuri. How could anyone not have gotten frustrated after, be, after being treated like that? You handled it as well as anyone could. I don't think any less of you. Well, alright. I believe you. Thanks, Dapper. You're too kind. I'm thankful to have you a part of this club now. Okay, Frank. Am I a butt or a boobs guy? That's an interesting question. Um... I don't know how to explain it. An evil token. <laughs> but her poops. You guys, I like both. Is that is it that weird? I'm not even... I don't even physically objectify women or men in such a manner um, to sexualize them or give them the stigma. For me, I, I fall in love with the personality. It's that person behind that body. The body is just... Part of their expression and like it's a person behind it. I almost always fall in love with faces first well no 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 just chi just hello chicken there's a chicken hello hello there's a chicken <laughs> in the chat there's a chicken in the chat everybody say hello to the chicken um what was I saying I, for I forgot ADD I totally spaced but anyway no first thing I fall in love with is the personality then everything else comes afterwards physical I'm thankful to have you a part I'm um, wait, I'm thankful to have you a part of this club now. A part? Wait, what? Okay. Grammar Nazi, literature club, and she said something wrong. Anyways, I'll skip that. Uh it's nothing. One more thing. Um that one thing that Nuts Natsuki said about, you know, I never do anything so shameful. So here's a bundle of sunshine when there are rain clouds in the way too. 
For next October, you should play scary games and become dark dapper. <laughs> become dark dapper. Become dangerously dapper. <laughs> That's actually my Twitch name is Danger Dapper. Because I tried, for a time, I tried on Twitch to stream there, but I wasn't getting any followers. So I was like, you know what? Heck with it. I'm going to go to YouTube. And YouTube, I, I exploded within like a first, like, three months. Or first month I started doing it. Yes, this is a very good game, Chicken. I agree. So, eh, eh, huh? What thing did Natsuki say? Um, well, never mind that. I'm going to make some tea. Ah, good idea. Make enough for more than one person, okay? Yeah. Is that a Markiplier? Oh yeah, Dark Dapper, I guess. Uh, cause, uh, Markiplier's got the, um, Mark a Dark? Dark Mark? Is that what it is? Is that what he's got? Dark Applier? More Spooktober? Spooktober! I think... Yeah, I've definitely got to start hoarding all the horror games and start, like, playing them all in October. And that's, like, my biggest thing for the new year is a daily dose of Dapper. I'm going to try and stream at least once every day, whether it's games or I'm actually, like, if I'm out and about or if I'm on vacation, I will vlog out where I... I'll vlog, well, I'll vlog wherever I am. Okay, everyone. It's about- it's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun! Well, I'd say it was worth it. Darkiplier. Okay, that makes sense. Markiplier, Darkiplier. It was alright. Well, mostly. Dapper, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome! In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. Maybe you learned something from your friends, too. So your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself, what a wonderful world. <laughs> I did learn a little bit more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. A nod to myself with a newfound determination. Dapper, ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Sayori beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Uh, you like Dangerously Dapper better. Dangerously Dapper? I actually came up with that with a little bit ago because I was giving, um, I was giving, who was it? I th was it my brother-in-law? It's either my brother-in-law or somebody else. But I was giving, because they, they started a Twitch. Or, and they also started YouTube and they're looking for like good gamer tags or good names for their channel and um, I was rattling things off and I was like well a good example is uh, and I tried to think of a good way to make a play on uh, play on dapper because I love alliteration I love the beautified voices in this game <laughs> So anyways, so I was like, um, what about, uh, Dangerously Dapper? Danger Dapper! And maybe, I don't know, maybe Danger Dapper could be, like, an alter ego who goes on adventures or plays horror games. Danger Dapper could be my horror game alter ego. I think that could work. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Was that the end of the day? I guess it's almost the end of the day. Not an all the time thing. Okay, I thought you were—I thought you were saying for like rebranding of da Dapper Panther Gaming to Dangerously Dapper or Danger Dapper, which would be pretty cool. Danger Dapper sounds pretty cool. Sayori, about what happened earlier? Eh? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've ever seen—I've seen them fight like that. She does need a brush. I I love playing with hair. If if I knew these girls in real life, if they had like a tea party or girls night out, I want or like they're watching a movie, I'd sit there and I'd brush their hair. I'd love to sit there and just brush their hair out. Braids and braids are nice and all, but I love just brushing the hair out. I promise they are both wonderful people. You don't you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Phew. You know, Dapper, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. 
<laughs> when you have a Twitter that reaches 1,777 followers, can you ever show your face on it? I will understand that. Oh, <laughs> anime, why aren't you real? Uh, you know, I don't, to be honest, there's a lot of things I wish was real. Not even just anime, but like also fantasy in general. Like all these things, amazing ventures and things happen, but they, like they rarely happen in real life. And I think that's sad. Like there's, there should be more adventure in real life, right? I think so. I think life would be so much more interesting. Life, life is interesting. We just have to look for those moments where something magical can happen. Anyways. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you too. That's... <laughs> I, I, don't, I can't laugh. I can't laugh like that and like get it to sound... <laughs> realistic. I just sound like an awkward guy going to <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. <sighs> it looks like Siori still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. <sighs> oh, already yawning. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? We'll just have to see what the future holds, Siori. You recommend not getting too attached to Siori? Okay, uh, <laughs> I will take that recommendation into consideration, but I can't promise that because I'm super empathetic, and so she's a very relatable character. Like, so far everybody's relatable except Natsuki and Mono Monaki? Monica? Monica? Monica. I think that's what her name was. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her. But it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. Yeah, don't spoil it! Don't spoil it! When you start YouTube, you're gonna be the hit guy on Facebook? Um... I am I I don't think I have a Facebook. I haven't used fa Facebook in months. It wasn't too much of a spoil, guys. It like it wasn't too much of a spoil. It was just it was just a mechanic or not mechanic. It was a uh, it was just advice. It was just I wasn't gonna follow it anyways. Being that hidden guy on YouTube. To be honest, I I'm more expressive when I can like see myself and you guys can see me. Like I'm more interesting to watch in person than to um than just to hear. Cuz I don't feel like my voice is very interesting in the ouch as I punch my mic. <laughs> uh my mic. I don't feel like I'm very interesting to just listen to, but it's when you can actually see me, you can actually engage with me that you actually feel more connected as a person. Yeah, it's not spoiling! And what's up, Tori from Elseworld? World? How's it going? Oh, but as I click on the wrong thing. Crap, it was supposed to be over here. Um. Alright. So I'll finish, I'll write the poem, and then I'll start the next one, the next area, because I think it's the next day, and then I, that's that will be where I end the stream. So let's see. Treasure. So she likes. Okay, so treasure was on it last time, but she jumped at treasure. So skirt, I think that's cute. Pure. Nope, she liked it. What about... Unrequited? Nope, she liked it. Um, graveyard. Yes. Um, fantasy. Why is she going fantasy? Okay, let's see. Um, passion. No, why? Um, raindrops. Okay. Landscape. That was so entropy. Eternity? Yes, okay. And then we wanted. Depression. Nope, that was her. Uh, she likes happy and sad. She likes the motions. Motions, she likes simple things and cute things, and she likes after image. There we go. Disoriented? Um, that's the son of heart, but. Incapable. So words that are a little bit c complex. 
Um, you're a feel not tuck guy. Yeah, this is true. I'm a very feely person. I've got a lot more emotion to express in my face. Rip stream. What happened to the stream? Did it mess up? H2O Delirious. I don't know who that is. But if I'm guessing if you mean like he doesn't do like the face thing, then yeah, I, I guess I understand. I'm trying to slide into yours DMs. Yes, yeah, just a little bit. I'm trying to I'm trying to just slide right in there. Grief. I feel like nope, that's her. Of course. Um Extraordinary. Nope, of course it's her again. Stay away, get out of here. Um I got five more to go with her. So I need unending. Intellectual Essence Infinite. Starscape. Heaven sent. There we go. I'm pretty sure I have enough for Yuri this time. Yuri's gonna like it. I will see how it goes with. Hmm. Okay, another day passes. And it's time for the club meeting already. But, while it may be time for. Oh, um. I'll just save it a new one, because I'm a little nervous. Um, but I will leave it here. Every, every kiss begins with K. <laughs> with tape and a rope. How do you know the right words? Right words to what? Snow alarm on your TV? Um, I wish I had a snow alarm on my phone, but so far I've just gotten avalanche warnings lately. I live next to a mountain, so I mean, I do get avalanche warnings quite, 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 quite frequently. But, uh, let's pop that over there and then pop it there. Oh, nobody spoil this. Hello, Valravan. I do get that reference to the, uh, that's Viking War? I think that's from Hellblade. Valravan? Or I guess not from Hellblade, because Valravan is from Norse. Mythology. I remember that. But welcome, Valravan. You just joined us at the end of the stream. So I regret to tell you this, but I'm, I'm actually about to end it and go to a, a New Year's Eve party. And I hope you all enjoy your own uh, happy new year. Because I think 2018 is going to be a great year. It's going to be the year of dreams. Dapper's got dreams for 2018. And one of my uh, New Year's revolution, re revolutions, resolutions is to stream once every day. At the least. Um, just so you can all get your daily dose of dapper. Even if even if it's just for a few minutes. Just so you guys can see me for at least a day. <laughs> One at least each day. But okay, bye Kazuki, and thank you all for watching. It's been great to see all these new faces, all these new people. It's always great to see new people. Um that's that's part of why I do this, is just so I can meet more people. And so thank you all for watching. I know I keep saying thank you, but it really means a lot to me to have more people to communicate with, more people to talk with, more people to meet. And so, for anybody else still interested in watching me, subscribe that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you know whenever I'm streaming or whenever I post a new video. I don't stream very often, but I do stream sporadically sometimes, but I'm usually I'm usually streaming later in the evening. Um, so tune in again tomorrow around 8 30 maybe 9 p.m mountain standard time which is like i don't even know where the rest of the time is it's like 11 o'clock in eastern time eight o'clock in or it's like seven o'clock california time western time i'm not even sure i don't even know <laughs> anyways we got tuned again tomorrow and i'll be streaming i don't even know what i'm gonna stream tomorrow i might stream it's the first of the year what's i stream on the first year first day of the year I don't even know. I might stream earlier on in the day. I don't even think I'll have class tomorrow. Actually, just kidding. I'm not gonna stream later in the day. Or later in the day. I'm gonna stream earlier on in the day. Stream the whole day away. I might come back to this. You know what? I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna come right back to this tomorrow night. So tune in again tomorrow, guys. Because I'll be right back with the Doki Doki Adventure Club. Or Literature Club. And as all, I love you guys. Have a good night. And Happy New Year. Let it be a, let it be a great year. Make it a good year. 2017 sucked, but 2018 can always be better. And happy new year, <laughs> happy birthday to Grand Highblood. I know his, uh, I know his birthday's coming up real soon. It's the final K.
countdown and thank you for subscribing queen louversil i do appreciate the new subscribers bye guys see you later also anybody who's getting drunk don't drive home be safe be smart be dapper